explore to gain knowledge, to push the boundaries of possibility, and to reveal the unknown. We seek to discover, to find answers, here on Earth and in space. Was Mars once an Earth-like planet with water and an atmosphere? What happened? Can the same thing happen here on Earth? What about asteroids? Is there something we can do to prevent a big one from colliding with Earth? We can go to Mars in our lifetime and answer some of humanity's fundamental questions about life beyond Earth. Robots are doing great work exploring our solar system, but eventually, we want to be able to put a person on the ground. Now, sending people to deep space destinations requires a lot of stuff. Food and water, shelter, fuel, spare parts, tools and supplies. It's like a spacefaring RV. The farther you go and the longer the trip, the more you need, and that means moving a lot of mass. So when you talk about getting past the pull of Earth's gravity, you need a bigger, more powerful rocket. The Space Launch System is an all-new heavy lift rocket that uses a combination of proven hardware and technology to make it more affordable. We can take the best from all we've learned from building rockets and combine that with cutting-edge tooling and manufacturing technology to build the most powerful rocket in history. You can fly to really high orbits around the moon with this rocket without requiring any other assistance. But when we add an upper stage, we'll have an even bigger capacity. The larger evolved version of SLS can carry a habitat, larger solar arrays, additional propulsion, you name it. It's really a versatile rocket. To get the astronauts beyond low Earth orbit, we need a new crew vehicle, Orion. The Orion spacecraft is a conical shape, like Apollo was. But it's actually larger than Apollo, and is capable of taking people farther into space than ever before. It can protect a crew of four for up to 21 days, and carry food, air, water, supplies, all the things the crew will need. Orion is the most advanced and versatile spacecraft ever made. It uses state-of-the-art technology, materials, and design processes based on more than 50 years of research and technology development. Flight crew, close and lock your visors and then get 802 slow. The first crewed flight of Orion and the Space Launch System will be a flight around the moon during Exploration Mission 2. A crew of astronauts will launch on SLS, fly several orbits around the Earth, then perform a translunar injection, which will send them on a path from Earth orbit towards the moon. Once the crew gets near the moon, Orion will pass within 60 miles of the surface, and from there, Orion can insert into a high lunar orbit several thousand miles from the surface. The tools, the knowledge, and the experience that we have at our disposal today come from nearly 50 years of space exploration and ultimately benefit lives here on Earth. Who knows what will come out of the scientific knowledge, discovery, and economic opportunities that result from deep space exploration. We've just hit the tip of the iceberg in terms of human exploration. Now we need to explore deep space. To me, that's the goal, to expand humanity's presence beyond the Earth. Exploring beyond has a deeper purpose, and it is a bolder mission than anything we've ever done before. I believe that people still look to NASA and the United States for leadership in space. It takes courage and resolve and commitment. And when we leave Earth to explore our solar system, it will not be as any one nation or culture, but as citizens of Earth for all of humanity.